Hi dear students, this is Mr. Sanjay Kuvar. Once again, I am here with you for learning 6th standard English subject. Now, we are going to learn lesson number 4.6, the Phantom Toll Booth, a book review. Here, the present lesson is a book review of one of the famous novels, The Phantom Tollbooth. This novel, The Phantom Tollbooth, is written by Norman Jester. So, dear students, let's get some information about the writer Norman Jester. Norman Jester is an American writer. He is best known as the author of children's book. His present novel, The Phantom Toll Booth, is one of his children's famous book. This book was written more than 50 years ago. It is a fantasy novel. It means an imaginary story. But this novel has an important message for the children all over the world. It also helps the children to look at their school and studies in new light. This famous novel also tells us the importance of the school education. Dear students, in the beginning, I told you that the present lesson is a book review of the famous novel, The Phantom Tollbooth. So, let's first understand what is meant by a book review. Here, a book review is a form of literary criticism in which a book is described or analyzed on the basis of its content, style and merits. In another language, we can say that a book review is the description of the merits and the demerits, the weaknesses and the strengths of a book. In short, we can say that a book review is a critical evaluation of the book. Now, dear students, let's begin the lesson. Here, the lesson starts with the description of the character Milo. Milo is the central character in this story. He was a young boy who lived in San Francisco in the United States of America. He was the only child of his parents. That's why he was surrounded by all the different kinds of toys. He was very good in every field, in every subject. He was very excellent in the school. There was nothing that he could complain about. Though Milo was very excellent in everything, but he was bored. Nothing really interested him. He thought that everything is just the waste of time for himself. And among all the things, school is the greatest waste of time for himself. There was nothing for him to do. He didn't find anything important for himself. Now dear students, you must have been guessed that Milo belonged to such an age where there was no invention of the modern things 
like the television mobiles computers etc so milo lived in such age where there were no inventions of all these things with the help of these all the things nowadays one can pass our time very easily but milo belonged to such age in which there was no all these things that's why he was very much bored but one day something great happened in his life he received a huge parcel one day in the afternoon and the huge parcel was sent with one blue bright envelope attached to it by its side and in that envelope something was written milo was surprised to see the huge parcel he had not received such a huge parcel earlier now milo was thinking who might have sent this parcel to him it was not his birthday that somebody could give him a birthday gift it was also not the christmas time during the christmas time christmas gifts are offered to others but it was also not the christmas time that somebody could give him the christmas gift he had also not done any excellent job any outstanding work so that somebody could offer him the gift but milo was very honest boy he accepted the huge parcel in the beginning he thought it to return but there was no sender's address at last milo decided to open the envelope which was attached to the huge parcel something was written inside the envelope he started to read it one genuine turnpike tolbooth easily assembled at home and for use by those who have never traveled in lands beyond dear students these were the lines written inside the envelope here the word genuine means real turnpike means wide road and tolbooth means the small building by the side of the road where one may pay money for driving his or her vehicle on the road or on the bridge so these lines were written in the envelope it means that there is one real wide road tolbooth and one can easily make it at home it is for those people who had never travel beyond the lands dear students milo was very much curious about all the words which were written there there was also a list of different things and in that list all the things were mentioned the first thing was one genuine turnpike toll booth and it was available there to be erected built by the person according to the different directions which were mentioned there the next thing was about the precautionary signs there were three precautionary signs and this precautionary signs could be useful for traveling the person on the road 
The next thing was assorted coins. Assorted means different kinds. There were different kinds of coins used for paying the tolls. For traveling on the road or the bridge, one needs money. So to pay money at such a toll booth, one requires the different coins. There was also one map. This map was up to date and this map was drawn by cartographer. Cartographer means a person who draws a map or a person who makes the map. So there was one map which was up to date and drawn by cartographer. There was also a book. It contains the rules and regulations of traveling. There was also something written at the bottom. Results are not guaranteed but if you not perfectly satisfied your wasted time will be refunded. From these lines we understand that one who wants to travel on such a wide road then he may not get the guarantee of results and at the same time if you feel that you are not satisfied then your time which you have wasted will be refunded but how can one get back the time which has been passed by himself that's a question here milo built the toll booth properly it was a proper toll booth with windows a roof and a coin box but what's of its use because there was no highway attached to it still milo set up the precautionary signs he unfolded the map and select the destination where he wanted to travel after that he sat in his toy car and came to the toll booth he paid the toll with coins and drove past the toll booth he crossed the toll booth and after traveling some distance he looked back and he was surprised to see there there was no his house there was no toll booth that's why he was very much surprised to see that there was neither his toll booth and his house they were disappeared he found himself driving speedily on the highway into an unknown territory he had began his journey in the land of expectations he was in the kingdom of wisdom he had many adventures there in that land of expectations he met the lethargarians these were the people who lived their life in lazy he had to rescue the princess rhyme and reason from the castle of air the castle of air means the palace of air which is only possible in the imaginary world to understand what happened next we have to read the novel phantom toll booth written by norman jester dear students was milo successful in his mission who were the strange people and creatures he met there what happened to the toll booth did milo see it again 
did milo find this life interesting later on to understand all these questions answer we must read the famous children's book the phantom tollbut which is written by norman jester thank you